I have to boil my water for tea in a pot because I have vinegar in my kettle. And I figured this would be better than being yelled at by um, Europeans for microwaving water. <laughs> so, it's like 10, 16 a.m. Don't look at my bangs. I trimmed them again. They're too short. <laughs> Boop, boop. Fun things in the haps this morning. I got to sit in with Martha's feeding and that was cool. Uh, I heard her do like a little chirp at the end. It's so quiet. I thought it was the floor squeaking and then Grant was like, that was her making her little chirpy noise. It's very cute. I love it so much. Number two, I'm making focaccia because I've got some soup and I want focaccia to dip in my soup. This is rising. I just gave it its first little stretch and fold. We'll let it come back up to almost, I guess the four the four mark, and then it will press it out into a pan, let it rise a little bit more, bake it, gonna be delicious, gonna be so good. Very excited. I used um, like garlic infused olive oil in the dough, so it's gonna be extra tasty. So good. What kind of tea should we have? Do we want toast and jam, the decaf bedtime, or the biscuit tea? Where is my biscuit tea? Oh, biscuit tea, oh, biscuit tea. Where are you, biscuit tea? We're gonna go with the vanilla nutmeg because I don't think I want caffeine right now. Um, I got myself a bigger cutting mat for sewing. It's a big boy so I can actually cut out like full pattern pieces without having to like smudge around my little tiny baby. I bought a little cart to put my sewing machine and like sewing stuff on so that I can wheel it out of the way and put it away when needed so I'm not just taking up the entire dining room table, you know? Still working on my cardigan cardigan backyard again and I got some nice soft white cotton like jersey so I can make a t-shirt because I gotta practice making t-shirts all right I'm ready to finally get down to work and finish this dang cardigan that's been causing me too much stress and trouble let's just get it done and out of the way your tiny stitches sticking out mm -hmm. I don't see any redness or anything so I've just been so preoccupied with a raging at my sewing project that I forgot to show you everything about the focaccia and I was gonna do a cute little like aesthetic pressing out of the dough and make it all cute, put it to nice music, but we don't have that because this is reality, this is real life. And I, uh, I'm really mad at my, my sewing project right now. I end up just like at myself, you know? I'm just not having a good time. So here's our focaccia. It's just been pressed out. It's all lovely, little garlic flavored olive oil. Some of this, yummy. And then I just sprinkled some salt, some Malden sea salt and a little bit of parsley. Say night night to the focaccia. Night night focaccia. The focaccia is done, it's looking great. I think it was in the oven for just a little tiny bit longer than I initially would have would have liked, but I had to go and help Grant outside with Martha. There's a really cool thing that happens if they get like a bent tail tail feather, which like is common and it just kind of happens to their tails. You literally just take like almost boiling water and you just pour it over the feather and it completely rights itself. It's very, very cool. Here's our focaccia. Wow. This block of cookie dough. <laughs> it's like a, a cocoa sable with pistachios in it. This is from Christmas. So this is pretty old, but I kind of want to slice a few and bake it and see if it doesn't taste completely like fridge, then I have some cookies and how fun is that? So we just made these bomb ass sandwiches on some focaccia and we just made some like frozen buffalo chicken tenders and put some gouda cheese and some like blue cheese dressing and then a little bit of like whatever the salad is that my husband was eating, I put that on top. Um, I don't know how good it's gonna be or if these ingredients will even do justice to the delicious homemade focaccia. Uh, I'm gonna take a huge bite. The bread is still warm. <laughs> if you totaled it all up, I wonder how much time in my videos I spend just like eating food. <laughs> I hope it's a lot. Mm. All right, I'm about to go try a cookie from Christmas. They look okay. They don't look terrible. I guess my concern though is that the nuts maybe like went rancid in the fridge. <laughs> Didn't think about that until just now. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Doesn't taste good. <laughs> that does not taste good. <laughs> to the bin they go. Oh, 
I wish I had ice cream. Alas, I do not. No ice cream for me right now. What I do have is cookie dough. I don't have cookie dough. Did Grant eat it? He ate the cookie dough? Hold on. Hold the frick on. The cookie dough was gone from the fridge. I'm about to lose my dang mind. I just made the 9,000th mistake on this freaking cardigan. It's driving me crazy. Cause like you read it, reading it, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. This is going to turn out backwards. And then I follow those instructions and it does turn out backwards. So I need to just stop doubting myself. I need to stop like just following the instructions if I'm reading it and it seems freaking wrong. I'm just not gonna do it. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I did it wrong. It's also a possibility, but how could that be a possibility twice? Maybe that makes it more of a possibility. I don't know. I'm just dumb and I mess stuff up and I don't like it. And I want to throw this whole sweater in the garbage and never look at it again. I'm upset. Grant scolded me for trying to do too much too soon on my sewing machine. And he was like, sounds like you need to stick to more basic fabrics. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I don't want to hear it though, because this is soft and nice. And this is what I want to wear. <sighs> How dare he be right. All right. Now we have to bust out our handy dandy seam ripper and let's freaking go to town. I can't even see the threads. Literally can't see the threads at all. Where are they? As soon as I turn on the camera, I like completely, my mind just blinks and I don't know what I'm saying or what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's almost 6 a.m. It's the next day, of course. Just got back from a walk with the dogs. Just walking the dogs, feeling like I'm in the Blair Witch right now. They are munching away on their breakfasts. And now I am washing my mug from yesterday because you have to drink it of the same mug. It's just great, I love this mug. And then I'm gonna make some tea, cuddles on. And I was dreaming about my cardigan, like all night long, dreaming about fixing it. But in my dream, the fabric was really nice to work with and my sewing machine did not stretch out the fabric, which was beautiful and not a reality. And I've decided <clears throat> that like my next project I wanna make is a plaid house dress. Simple, oversized, comfy, you know? But in plaid because it's fall. And it's none of my business what I look like in fall. It's just comfy, comfy all day, every day, okay? Time to work on this cardoon from hell. to do a try on of my cardigan that I have just been completely avoiding putting on because I know it's gonna be so stretched out because <laughs> I just struggled a little bit. So I know it's not gonna be great. So I've just been avoiding trying it on ever since I realized everything was getting real stretched out. Maybe because it's a wrap cardigan, it might be okay. I don't know. I don't have high hopes. I still have one more step. If everything is like decent right now, the last step is just to put the cuffs on the arms and that's it. And then we're done, but let's try it on because I'm afraid. It's real puckery in the back. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Oh. 
Oh, she real stretched out. Also, this happened in my mock-up as well as the final version. I thought maybe I just didn't measure something correctly, but it's like, I, I followed all the instructions for the right size and I cut out all the right size pieces. So what am I, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. I'll tuck it in or I'll just figure out something with it. How bad is it out of 10? Like a 12? <laughs> Can I pass it off as a wearable garment? I mean, I'm totally still gonna wear it. Like out in public and everything. As like a reminder, this is where I began. These are my beginnings of sewing again, you know? I can't really tell, the viewfinder is very small. I need to go look in like a real mirror. So I'm probably just gonna continue with it. Put the arm thingies on. But what a cozy morning. Just like starting sewing in the dark with my little light on. I've got like some oldies playing in the background. It's very, very cozy. I'm enjoying my morning a lot. Here goes nothing. How's Martha? Good. Did she jump far? Not far, but she jumped high for Oh. Once. I've been making her, I've been trying to get her to like jump out. Yeah. And low. She's never like jumped up. And now I just got her to jump like from the table up to like here. Cuff number two, done. This one seems to be a little bit better in terms of puckeriness, but who knows, who cares? Do my sleeve lengths match? They do, cute, cozy, nice, well-made, no. <laughs> Watching Beatrice Caruso videos and assembling my sewing cart. taller than I thought it would be. So here we have our little rolling cart for all my sewing stuff. The machine fits on top for when I need to wheel her out of the way. Um, very, very almost doesn't fit, but does fit. Got a little cup here for my rotary cutter and my like seam ripper, snips, pens, a chopstick for turning out straps. We got all my scissors. My fabric scissors do not fit in the little cup, so they just live down here, along with some clips and a cute little pin cushion. Also, just like, look how cute this is. This is the cutest little pin cushion I've ever seen in my life. I love it so much. Little, just little things like this just make me so happy. I love this so much. So happy. Regular pins, and then I have just like bobbins on the very, very bottom shelf way down there and my like little ruler <sighs> that's not like everything that will live on this cart but it's just kind of you know what I found right now for the time just to see where things might go where they might live etc and I think it looks good I think it's a good little option what do you think mister
What do you mean? Do you want to come pet? I want to have a pet. So once again, we have another finished garment that is A, not perfect, B, taught us a lot of lessons, and C, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. For now, this is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!